first things first, is just can you explain to me what Utah Mom Show is ex exactly? Like, yeah. yeah. It's a plug, pretty much, is okay. the <laughs> best way for me to describe it. Um, I wanted to start a nonprofit about suicide awareness and depression and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I mean, someone's already talking about that. There's plenty of nonprofits going around, and um, I really wanted to be a source for all those. So, a place that we can take all these different kinds of issues that parents might need to know about or want to know about in the community and go get it from one event. Okay. No, oh, cool. How did you get into it? Like what, like what, how did, how did it become, you know, from an idea to reality? Yeah. So starts a long time ago. I had a friend come forward and say, Hey, here's his logo for gaming con. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I was 22 years old, single mom. And I just knew that I wanted to, I was working at a call center. I didn't want to do that for the rest right. of my life. So, <laughs> and uh, I'm a gamer, so I was oh like, really? gaming con, that sounds great. So I loved the idea of it and I, I started there and that's when I, I fell in love with trade shows. I had actually never really attended trade shows too much like on my own before that. So I'm sorry, I, what is a trade show? Excuse me, um, or convention trade show. Oh, okay. okay. So gotcha. lots of, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of like what's going on on 25th Street right, today. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, I just kind of got thrown into working <laughs> events because my friend needed help and he didn't have a lot of people on his side and startup businesses are awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I helped him doing that, not knowing a ton of what I was doing. And then three years later, um, yeah, I just really, I had to do more. I was at a really depressed point in my life and I went back to, I mean, I've, I've always had a job on the side, of course, you know, right. we all got to do that to support our dreams. So right. then I was just sitting in the office one day. I was like, what parent events do we have? And I was looking into that and we didn't have a ton. We didn't, and even more so, we didn't have one that's, let's talk about me messy parenting. We had one that was like more maternity and we have a lot of woman empowering events, but um, you know, the parenting, the maternity part of it, which Utah was already highlighting the baby shower part. Mm -hmm. Great, that's easy. Give me a 10 year old. 10 year olds are hard. Teenagers are hard. Right. Like parenting is, I hear parents complain about their kids in their 20s. Like it's, right. it's <laughs> <laughs> so right. um, I wanted to create something for them, not the first stage of parenting. Okay. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, I guess cra crazy journey. Yeah, I don't know how it, <laughs> I hope I answered that okay. No, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. What, do you, what are your goals for it in the future? Do you, I mean, are you at where? where you want to be with it or do you want to yeah. expand? Expand, okay. yeah. We actually, uh, we have a, a awesome meeting coming up with a lot of our team because it's been four months since the first event and we've all had to kind of simmer down. And it's really weird when you have annual events. Someone explained it to me really well. It's like you, it's like you almost gave birth and then at the end of it, it's like you kind of, you know, you have your numbers to show for it and you know, you have your stuff, but it's it's just really weird. It's all of a sudden gone, like your wedding day. And right. so um, my point is to just whatever I have the first year, the you know the second year I, I do more. The that year before I, I do more the next year. Um, so my plans personally, I have I'm trying not to wrap my brain around <laughs> you know 20 years, but the next show is much bigger than this show. We're doing Super Moms. Um, we have a better team together. The first year was a lot, me and my boyfriend and a couple of friends that helped out. So we got a lot more attention this year and bringing in a lot more sponsors and just people who care. A, a lot of the nonprofits, like uh, people helping people, my friend Kat runs, and right. we're helping women get off of subsidized incomes and become top income earners, you know, breadwinners, yeah. and start thinking that, you know, the. The, the food stamps and, and the everything like that, that is great. We need that. I was on state assistance for four years and, you know, my son is now 10 and the last six years, it doesn't, you know, get a ton easier, but there's a lot of different resources for women in those stages. That's just one nonprofit that we can talk about. There's, you know, hormone levels that <laughs> none of us really know what's going on with our bodies and we don't really have the time to go look into that, but maybe Mother's Day weekend when mom's there, she'll find that doctor that she's been needing to connect with. Right. So. Yeah, that's really cool. What advice would you give to somebody who wanted to start, I guess, a nonprofit like yourself? I'd say do it. You're just doing, do it. just do it. It doesn't, I, I seen a, a quote that I related to really well. Like, whatever you were 
uh, sorry, wherever you start in your life, you know, you're, you're just telling yourself the next day, the next day. Uh, a year a year ago, you were telling yourself that you would have killed to be in the spot that you're in now. And it's so true. The only thing that we can really measure up and stack up is, is that time and reflect back on it. Because when we're in the moment, it's really, really hard it, to see that. Um, and a lot of football players say that they don't win the game by focusing on, you know, all the, the end zone that they need to make. They, they need to focus as they go. And right. that's really what it is. If you want anything to be great, just do it because you have to start it right. and <laughs> as you go, it's it's going to be great if you're passionate about it and you can keep that ump, like it's... Right, so j like just getting started is like the the main, Yeah. you know. It's, and that was, that's the hardest part is the, because I, I didn't have any confidence when I started this. Right. <laughs> I, I don't feel like I started my message because I had confidence. I feel like I started it because I, I said, who else was going to do it? I didn't know who else was going to come in here and shake up Utah a little bit and talk about, uh, again, s things that need to be talked about. And I'm trying to mix it in with uh, important influencers that you kind of follow and then like the issues that kind of get pushed under the rug. But mm -hmm. either way, my vision, it's expanded, it's grown, but just start it, just do it. Whatever that may be, go to a marketing class, go ask a business owner friend, how did they do it? Where did they go first? And that's how go from there get a better circle <laughs> and <laughs> and go that route and just go for it yep really yeah no, I, absolutely um what are your social medias what yeah what what social media do you have really? like where can people find uh utah mom show instagram okay facebook of course we i guess the website's not a social media but we have a website um, and we are working on a YouTube channel that's actually going to oh be awesome. airing uh, at the beginning of January. So I'm okay. super excited. We're working on the episodes now. Anything, anything else that you want to uh, let us know about? Just let people know about that's coming up. Um, I mean, obviously you have the the event. Yeah, our event's Mother's Day weekend, Mother's and Day, right. So it's Friday, Saturday, and then Mother's Day is on Sunday. So relax with your family on Sunday. Do what you need to do, but maybe you can. You know, guilt the hubby. It's like, hey, yeah. we got to babysit. Because on Friday, first 500 people that come through the door, free bath bomb for mom. Excuse me. First 500 moms that come through the door. So right. if you're a hubby <laughs> trying to get bath bomb number two, we know what you're up to. <laughs> <laughs> we, we want them to. <laughs> um, and uh, we have a trunk or treat event October 19th in Leighton, or mm -hmm. I guess Clearfield, um, in front of Futures Coffee. And Sweet. just a bunch of businesses coming out to decorate their cars and you know, free candy for the kids in a safe environment, of course. So that's why we like the trunk or treats. And we have a beard contest too. I feel like our I beard saw, contest. I saw that. I, yeah. Yeah. What what is that? It like so. Guys want to win stuff for their moms. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I figured that was a cute because I'm a boy mom, and I I feel mm -hmm. like there's so many different social aspects. You know, you can bond with your kids, but I just thought the beard contest was super fun. Um, and the guy who actually won, he said, you know, my mom hates my beard, and maybe she'll <laughs> like it now. So. She won a ton of great stuff. I, I mean, just the, the minky blanket that she won alone was like $200. Really? So, and she got a cleaning gift card. Um, Pig in a jelly jar gave a gift card to that and some jelly. So it was a really cool contest. And we're going to be doing that again. And we're going to be opening the voting starts in January. I'm not sure when exactly we're going to be opening the contest, but follow our social media pages for that. So. Absolutely. That one's fun. Sweet. Um, I, I, is there anything else you want to let the people know? No. No? I'm super nervous. Thanks for no, having me. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, I, I appreciate you coming by. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Thanks for being a cool. part of the page. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs>